Hello, and thank you for registering to attend the Almond Conference 2020 in a virtual setting. The purpose of these videos is to provide you with a thorough guide on how to navigate the virtual platform. We recommend that you attend the conference on your desktop or laptop computer. Tablets will work, however, portions of the screen will not be fully visible. And we do not recommend logging into the conference from a mobile device, as there are many pop-up screens that will not appear for you, therefore making the experience challenging. We have created three videos covering various areas of the conference platform. In this video, we will cover your login, password, the lobby, and how to update your profile. If you have already registered to attend the virtual conference, you will receive an email on Monday, December 7th at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time with login information. The email will be sent from the Almond Conference 2020, and the email address will be almondconference at theonlineexpo.com. The email you receive will provide you with a link to access the platform. Simply click the Login to Access Event button, and it will take you to the login page. If you registered with your own password, type in your email address and the password here, then click Enter. If you registered without a password, or you find that your password is not working, you can set one now. Simply click on the link here. Click here to set your password. Type in your email address. You will receive an email that will allow you to set your password. Check your inbox to retrieve the email. Once again, the email will be sent from the Almond Conference 2020, and the email address will be almondconference at theonlineexpo.com. If you don't see the email in your inbox, be sure to check your junk, spam, and clutter folders. Click on Reset Password, and you will be able to create a new password of your choice. The system should then redirect you back to the Login Now page. If you have difficulty logging in, you can click on the link titled Login Help. This will allow you to send an email to our staff. We will have staff available to respond to your email during business hours of 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Once you click Enter, the system will take you to the main conference lobby. The lobby is the landing page for the conference. There are hotspots that you can click here to take you around the site, such as to the session rooms, the exhibit hall, and to technical help. The navigation bar at the top here will give you quick access to all the areas of the conference platform. After you log into the platform, the first thing you should do is update your information by clicking on My Profile. Here is where you can update your contact information and upload a picture of yourself. You will receive a badge for completing this activity and other attendees and exhibitors will be able to put a face to your name. Let's look at your personal info. Based on your registration, the system has pulled data such as your full name and company name. Your email address, you cannot edit. Other attendees and exhibitors will be able to view your full name and company name. If you update your job title and address and share your virtual business card, others will see that detailed information. A valuable tip. Adjust the time zone to your personal time zone and it will carry throughout the entire platform. This means that all agenda times will be set to the time zone you select so you don't miss a beat. This middle tab is your communication center. This tab shows you mail messages, which are similar to emails, but within the conference platform. You can view your inbox, your sent messages, create a new mail message to send to anyone registered in the platform and download all your messages at the end of the conference. Simply click on the new button. Search for who you'd like to send a message to, find their name, type a message, and send them a note. The receiver of your message will get notified and can respond when they are online, if they choose. They will receive a message alert in the top right corner the next time they log in. All mail messages are stored here. While meeting in the hallways isn't possible this year, you can still gather your closest friends and network with other industry members through the chat feature. The chat tab allows you to invite an attendee or exhibitor to a live type chat session with you. Click on new and search for their name. Only individuals that are online will be available for a chat. If they are not available, you will not be able to chat with them. Perhaps send them a mail message instead. The receiver must accept your invitation to chat. Consider this a tap on their shoulder. If they are not available to chat with you at that moment, they can click on the decline button. If they accept your invitation to chat, you will see them enter your chat room and you can begin a typed chat session. If you want to invite a second person to join the chat, simply click on the invite button to search for their name. 
Again, if they are available and willing, they can click on the accept button to join your private chat. This is what it will look like when someone invites you to join them to chat. Again, you have the option to accept or decline this invitation to a private chat with another attendee or exhibitor. You can view your pending chats, missed chats, and previous chats here. The transcripts of one-on-one -on -one chats are available to view and download post-conference. Keep in mind, only one-on-one -on -one chats have that functionality. Let's move on to the third tab within the Communication Center. The V card is a virtual business card. If you update your mailing address and phone number, when you send your V card to others, they will see that data. You can opt to only list your full name, company name, and job title. Attendees and exhibitors that share their V card with you will also appear in this area. If you want to receive an email notification whenever someone messages you or sends you their V card, go back to your personal info tab and click on Auto Forward Mail and Auto Forward V Cards and you will receive an email notification in your inbox. Let's move over to the third tab, the briefcase. Think of this tab as your virtual conference bag where you can collect and view digital collateral from the exhibit booths you visit. You can download all of these documents to your desktop. The system will keep track of the files you previously downloaded with a green check mark. You'll notice that some brochures provide you with a badge. We'll show you more on this in the third video. Well, we've reached the end of this video but be sure to take some time to click around your profile and the communication center. Get a feel for the many features available to connect with other attendees. Thanks for watching the first of three videos. Click on the next video to learn how to attend sessions, the exhibit hall, and visit the lounge. Thank you.